This video was brought to you by Bakaretsu. Hey guys, Hayley here, and today I'm coming at you from a standing position because we're doing a very long-awaited video, and that is I'm finally going to be doing a room tour for you guys. I have finally finished setting up all of the anime figures and anime merch and art prints the way I want it, and I'm super excited to show you guys the room. The gag of this room tour is that I'm actually moving house again in another two to three months so really this room is not gonna last a long time but I took that as an opportunity to maybe experiment um, and try a few different I don't know interior decorating things out while I'm here to see if I like them um, and then I will take that knowledge with me onto the next room okay so without further ado let us jump into the room let's get into it So first up, once again, I have two IKEA Billy bookcases um, and similarly I put figures on the top and manga on the bottom. So at the very top we have my freeing B-style quarter scale bunny collection. I love how high the ceilings are in this place because they look phenomenal up there. Um, I love putting my bunnies above here. This is... Mm, it's probably my favorite part of this entire bookcase. <laughs> then below the bunnies, I have some of what I'm gonna call my prettiest scale figures. Um, they're all quite pastel and pink um, and they're all just beautiful. So I love seeing them here all the time. This Sakura one I just unboxed and I think she looks really cute. And then next to them, this is my kimono figures. I absolutely love the shelf. I've even put some plants here to just zhuzh it up. But we have the Madoka Magica kimono girls um, and some few others. So Miku, Kana and Angel there. And I just think they all look amazing together. All right, so on the shelf beneath it, this is half like art prints and figures, but we have two of my favorite figures of all time which is the Radio Ava, Asuka and Rei in the um, like monochrome version. I think they look amazing. This Evangelion acrylic stand, which is one of my favorite things I own. Um, and some other little decorative, like these little beanbag cats, which I don't know, I think are really cute. <laughs> and then panning onto this side, similar, I do have some figures and then just some prints. Um, this Nadeshko I recently uh, and I love her so much. I think she looks so good with the plants. Um, and I've got a few of my favorite Nendroids here as well. On this side, just another little acrylic stand, little Nadeshko's hiding, which I think is adorable, um, and some art prints I really like looking at. All right, and then from there downwards begins my manga collection. Um, a lot of series I really like. I wanted to call out Chainsaw Man, of course. This is super hyped and I'm really enjoying it. Very glad I started collecting the manga from the beginning. I think some of these volumes might be getting a bit pricey and difficult to get. I'm also really enjoying my Ruko-chan. Uh, this is a cool horror manga about a girl who can see like evil spirits that nobody else can. Then we have a few more Nendoroids that I unboxed. Reina, I only unboxed recently. I love her. She looks so scary over there. Um, and the Your Name Nendoroids as well. And some other manga volumes underneath that. I'm still trying to finish out my Fruits Basket collector's editions, but they're so expensive. And for some reason, volume seven is so hard to get in Australia. All right, we have some more manga here with some of my other Nendoroids. Chocolate and Vanilla are two of my uttermost favorite Nendoroids I own, so I just had to open them up. And then more manga down here. I've got a few series that I'm struggling to finish. Like, I don't know why I can't seem to get volume two of Hell's Paradise or volume four of Spy X Family. The joys of collecting manga. And in front of that, we have some of my favorite Fate Nendoroids. I only unboxed these three. Um, I think these are my three favorite Fate Nendoroids. And I love that Ishtar's dropped her little staff. 
She always drops this and I just... Anyway, moving on. <laughs> All right, down here, more of my manga. Most significantly, my Jinji Ito collection, which I'm very fond of. This Kotobuki acrylic stand, which they sent me, um, that I can't believe they still sent me stuff, so I, it's very special to me. <laughs> down here, mix mash of art books and manga, and more importantly, this froggy Ida bag, where I keep some of my most favorite frog pins. So I recently picked up this science fiction illustration uh, book full of illustrations by different artists, but this is one of the coolest things I own and the cover is just so aesthetic. And I just recently picked up this art book as well. This is a guide on how to draw like girls and guys with animal ears. So like cat girls and boys, but also like wolf book girls and boys, rabbit girls and boys. It is so adorable. All right, down here is my illustration book collection shelf. I've gone a bit crazy on illustration books since the last room tour video. So now it's a shelf and a half, but I really enjoy collecting them. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. First up is Polaris by Mayoko and this art book just has some of the most vibrant um, and fun illustrations ever. Then we've got Kuro Bunny um, which is an illustration book full of bunny girls by a bunch of different artists um, and I love this because I'm a degenerate but also they're really cute <laughs> and talented and I also really like contrast this is a newer one i've picked up but it is just so fun and vibrant and cute i think is the word we would all agree on using here but i do talk a lot more about the art books i buy in um, my art book hauls so if you're interested check those out so next to the shelf i have this leaf vine thing um, and also a pin pennant which i love collecting enamel pins. I've also got a hook for a wall scroll. I do plan on changing this out, but at the moment I'm loving this uh, girl hanging out with her cat out in the garden. I think it gives me the right vibes I'm after. And we've got this little angel from Evangelion, which I love. He stays there. Then in this corner, I've hung up three of these little shelves to put more of my crap on. Um, at the top, we've got Conductor Rilakkuma uh, and some Fate acrylic stands. Then on this one, we have some just really matching colors of the Revolve Hollow figure and this art print here. And down here, we have a fake plant and some more enamel pins. I also really enjoy kind of photo collages. So I just have a couple here with some of my favorite art prints. I will be including links to all of the artists in the description as well. Below that, I keep my master pin board. This thing is too heavy for me to hang up anywhere, but it sits here and I actually really like looking at it. So I was saying I like to do print collages. So this is that, but on a bigger scale, it's just on the sliding door here. But I've included some prints from some animes I've been hyped about, like Jujutsu Kaisen, um, a bit of Chainsaw Man, Evangelion. Um, and Haikyuu. I am watching Haikyuu with Anime and Gwen Collects at the minute and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yep, here's Kageyama. So above my detolf, I currently have my ultimate Madoka figure. She's actually like damaged as heck, but I still really love her. We've got another enamel pin board in the back there, surprise, surprise. Um, and we have the Gyu by Kotobukiya figure. This was sent to me by Kotobukiya, so I treasure it a lot. And we just have some fake plants behind him. Uh, and then in the top two shelves, we have some of my favorite figures because they're in the top. On this side, we have some black and white girls. We have Kasumi by Mega House. I took her sword off because she doesn't fit otherwise. Um, Saber Lily in the back, 
And the A to Z B figure by Mythios, which is one of my all-time favorite figures. Then on this side, we have some other heavy hitters, like the My Ethos Wisteria figure. I mean, how amazing. Saber Alta by Alter in the back. And we have the Muse Dash Rin figure by Apex, looking very cute in the front. Down here, also some amazing figures. Uh, on the left side, we have some Asukas. I used to have a big Asuka shelf, but I haven't unboxed all of my Asukas, and so they're kind of spread out, but there is a stronghold of them here. Then we've got the Saber Racing figure. I'm super excited to complete the trio, but I don't have the other two yet. And Iowa looking cute and cheeky in the front. Then over here, one of my favorite setups, we have Gilgamesh and Ozzy on their big ass chairs looking so powerful and i think shoot and doji actually really fits in with their like a vibe of like them judging other people like i don't know all right then we have my obligatory racing miku shelf uh i love how they all match because they're all mikus and again this 2020 miku is enormous she's huge then over here we have some more fate figures we've got the saber altar kimono by kalakawa an absolute powerful bitch and we have rin who is also very powerful uh but not when she is wearing archer's costume which she is in this case and instead she looks really cute down the bottom we had some more mikus that i really just couldn't fit on this shelf around this ginormous lady so i just put them down here and we also have the Jean d'Arc dress version, which I roasted her in my figures I regret buying video. And now she lives on the bottom shelf of my detail. So moving on. And down here we have the figure with the biggest base that it doesn't need to have is the AKA retooing figure by Magic Mold. Next to the shelves and by the window, I have this kind of plant set up and this board. Similar to my last room tour, I've done up more pin boards. I love both of the Jujutsu Kaisen art prints that I've got on here. I bought these just recently and I'm in love with them. So one of the things I felt like I was lacking in my old room was real plants. And I've shown you a lot of fake plants, but I actually have invested and kept alive, surprisingly, uh, a few real plants in this room so they kind of live on here and behind me and I think it's been going well I really enjoy uh, having you know five or six plants that depend on me to survive uh, and fingers crossed they don't die and just under the plants I have some more shells um, I've got like my Pachita plushie very happy to own that uh, a few Anime vinyls are uh, only a few inspired by Gwen's collection. Over here I have some of my favorite plushies, which all just happen to be yellow, uh, so they look very nice together. Then I've got my two favorite Kuma plushies, and down the end I've got the chocolate and vanilla pop-up parades, as well as a Shiba Inu vending machine eater bag. How cute! So down here in these heavy duty metal tins. I actually keep my uh, anime doujin collection. I collect uh, safe for work illustration doujins. Um, I'll show you some of my favorites. Like this one is an Asuka illustration doujin by Ask. Stunning. This one by Mika Picasa. Um, love Mika Picasa's illustrations so much. And FGO Illustrations is a doujin series I love collecting, um, really recommend for any FGO fans. Alright, and the last part of my room is my desk. This is where I spend a lot of time, and now that I'm working from home, this is also where I work. I have two lamps for cozy mood lighting, uh, two monitors so I can be really efficient when I'm procrastinating. 
The keyboard I'm currently using is some special edition NK65. Um, I just really like the colors and the caps. Over here, I've jumped on board the train with these pen storage units. I think it's by far the best way to store pens. Uh, and this is actually another favorite of my illustration books that I've been using a lot recently uh, for reference when I'm drawing. And over here, I've got this ladder shelf. This fits perfectly in this nook. Um, so I'm very happy that I found it. Down here I keep manga and cute little Totoro plushies that look up at me. Then I've got some stationary supplies, coloring in pencils, a bunch of washi tape um, and stationary stuff. And up here I keep some of the knickknacks that I really enjoy, like Totoro plushies. I keep this acrylic photo frame there with uh, my favorite Gojo illustration in it, just to keep it close. And lastly, you know I love prints and canvas boards, so I had to include these photo frames. Uh, I've got a smaller one here, um, and I love dangling these adorable Demon Slayer charms underneath it. It's so cute. Then I've got this photo frame collage. Uh, these are actually notebooks that I bought from the Evangelion store that I knew I would never use, so I ended up just using them as prints which I think really worked out. I love looking at these. And finally over here, yet another photo frame grid with some of my favorite prints on here. All right. And that is my room. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. Uh, I had a lot of fun putting this together. I really like decorating with prints and art and things that I just like looking at and make me feel happy when I see them. Uh, and I really like putting more plants in the room. It makes the place more well-adjusted. Anyway, I have stuff to do, so I'll leave you guys with a word from the sponsor for today's video because I have to get back to choosing which of these high acrylic stands to buy so I've got stuff to do. If you guys are interested in where I got this shirt designed from, well it was actually from none other than Bakaretsu. Bakaretsu is a clothing brand that specializes in minimalist anime inspired streetwear. They have so many amazing designs including this Hitagi one which I really love because it's low key and I can just wear it to work in a professional office setting. They have so many more amazing designs up on their website and once again, I love how subtly anime inspired all of these are so that I can wear them to the office and people who are in the know, know, but people who are not in the know, don't know. Bakaretsu t-shirts use a premium blend of organic cotton and recycled polyester. The shirts are also super comfortable, really high quality, and they fit great. Check out all of their amazing designs on bakaretsu.co and don't forget to use the code DAIJOBUBU for $3 off your first order. And don't worry, they do ship internationally so they've got you covered. I've bought a few shirts from them in the past and I've always found them super comfortable to wear and they have been staples in my wardrobe. So check out the link in the description to browse their designs and also support the channel while you do so. Thanks again, Bakaretsu, for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I decided to buy the Kuru one.